Not only can we filter fields with strings in them, but we can also filter fields containing numbers known as measures in Tableau. This means we can include or exclude different range of values or even specific values as well. Now the approach is relatively the same as the previous ones. And one of the great things with Tableau is that the dialog options change depending on what type of field you're filtering. <laughs> In this video, we're going to cover the last type of filtering, which is filtering measures. So let me show you how it works. So here at the bottom, I have my filters, which are green. Okay. And what we're going to do is going to build a very simple visualization to kind of uh, demonstrate what happens when you filter in different ways. So let's bring in this state group, which is basically the cleaned up state. And I'm going to bring in the delivery fee. Okay. So let's bring that in here. And I also want to drop it in the columns. That way we have that. And I'm going to sort it from lowest to highest. So pressing this button right here. Or I can press the hovering button here. Or I can sort here. Okay, sorting highest to lowest. Okay, so number of options. Okay, here we go. So there we have it. Is uh, our first visualization. So the most simplest thing with a um, measure filter is simply to filter based on the number you can see here. So these are all aggregated values using sum. Okay, so we can say, well, I want you to filter anything where the sum is, you know, greater than 1000 and less than 8000, for example. So let's do that. I can bring in sum of delivery and drop it into filters. From here, you're going to see a bunch of different options. So we simply click sum. There you have it. And then the value you're going to see here simply matches the value, the minimum and maximum you see here. So you see 96, which is equal to 96. And you have 8,864, which matches this one. Can't really see it because it's behind this null. But that is basically your limits. So then I can control this. I can either just type it in, you know, anything greater than, let's say, 2,000. And then for this one, I can say anything less than 7,000 and go apply. So that filters it down to whatever's within that range. I can do uh, similar to, again, the dates is at least. So clicking on this one and I can say, give me anything greater than 2,000. Hit apply. So that gives me anything greater than 2,000. Or I can go at most, give me anything up to 5,000. So it gives me 5,000 or less. Okay, so that is kind of like the filtering uh, as a basics for uh, the basics for measures. Now, I want you to be careful with something else, which is you don't have to have to just filter on sum. You can filter on other things like the average. But the danger with this is if I switch this uh, filter to average, this number, just in your mind and seeing what you're seeing, it's very hard to see what's going on. Okay, because the visualization is saying sum and you're filtering based on average and it can be very confusing and you could end up getting very unusual effects. There's no reason why you couldn't do that, but then it's kind of hard to explain. So what I suggest is if you're filtering on sum, keep this one sum as well, unless you really know what you're doing. Okay, so where does this number come from? 5.76 and 12. Okay, let's press cancel for the moment. And I'm going to convert these two to average, this one and this one. So let's go measure and switch this to average. Okay, let's make sure we switch this one as well. Otherwise, we're going to get confused. So those numbers match up and I'm going to sort it once again. Okay, so if I bring in that delivery fee and drop it into filters, you're going to see average. So we're going to click on that. And now you're going to see those numbers. So 5.76, which is this one right here. And then you have 22, which is this one right here. So you can see this makes a lot more sense. It's like, oh, I can see it. So really, I can just set it just like I did in the previous one. Let's say make this 20. And let's say I make this 8, for example. Go apply. And there you have it. So that's how you would filter uh, on different aggregates. Now, there is one other thing we can do. Okay, um, let us get rid of this filter. Uh, and let's switch this back to sum. Okay, so, and let's sort it. So we're kind of back to where we started. Now, when you filter the sum, you are basically filtering the final result, right? Because in this case, the final result is a sum. However, this sum for example, this one is made up of lots of individual entries. So how do I know that? Well, if I click on this button over here, 
Let's have a look at the data. Okay, let's just make this a little bit bigger. And let's go over here to delivery fee. And I'm going to click on the heading just to sort it. So these are actually the individual values. You got nulls, you got five. I think you have six, eight, you know, nine, 10, 22. So I can filter on the sum or I can filter the actual individual value. So let's say I go, I want to filter um, anything up to the number 20 in here. So any value that's greater than 20, don't include it in my summation. So how do I do that? Well, let's bring this filter in first. And you're going to see this all values button up here. So if I click that, that looks at the individual values, not the sum. That's why you're going to see this 5 and 22 that we just saw. 5 being the lowest entry at a row level and 22 being the highest at a row level. So if I wanted to... Uh, exclude any value higher than let's say 15 on an individual entry what it's going to do is going to filter all those out and then perform the summation so let's go okay and there you have it so that is the final result there is another way we can actually do the same thing uh, with slightly different controls you'll notice here with the delivery fee it's actually turned green so if I right click on this I can switch it from green, which is continuous, into discrete. And discrete looks very similar to the filtering we used for the dimensions. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Discrete. And now you have this option. So you can actually see the individual entries. And I can do the same thing. Let's say I can go all. I want you to not give me null, get rid of 22, and get rid of 16. And go OK. Right, So then that gives you the same result because that's what we're filtering on. So let's change it a little bit more. Let's get rid of 5 and 8. Let's say I'm only interested in those numbers and go apply. You can see that the results have changed. So you have a variety of options for how you do um, filtering on measures. So I'll leave it there. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you at the next video.